Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays um, Manhunt Checkpoint and this is a rather poor time, uh, it's been a slightly poor start so far um, because I got spotted changing cars, uh, no I didn't get spotted changing cars, I got spotted just after I changed cars because I pulled out uh, rather, I, I turned round rather abruptly in front of a hunter. However, it turns out the car I changed into is a Schwarzer. Um, I thought it was a sedan and one of the good, one of the better sedans. However, it turns out it's a sports car according to the um, the classification. So I think there's a reasonable chance I'm going to be able to escape from that hunter behind me because I should have a much faster car. Um, and now I was hoping to take that jump slightly better than that. Pete, on the other, has also not taken it too smoothly. But okay, so I'm going to try and. Um, use the extra extra speed of this Schwarzer to uh, to try and get away from them. And it shouldn't be too difficult. I say mildly optimistically, yes, there's Mike as well. So they're, they're, I'm passing them all in this in this run. Um, but I'm doing it all at speed and they're just going to have to um, get left behind. So hopefully I'm thinking that I might be able to use this car to get me down to the beach area and then from there switch into something else, maybe on foot. Oops crunch. Maybe I'll learn to drive one these days. We'll see, we'll see how that goes. Um, but the hope is if I can get down to the beach then I'll be able to go over and take the checkpoint in some sort of reasonably sensible way. Um, we shall have to see how that goes. Sensible is not on high on my list of um, skills at this, in this game unfortunately. Oop, there's a FedEx van all over the road. So if I head down here, so there's the checkpoint ahead of me. Um, it wouldn't be fair for me to just run straight into it now because I've basically just been chased down here. So I've been going, f I've been going flat out in a car that I'm not supposed to really. I'm not going to say I'm not supposed to use it because that's not true. I'm, I, I'm perfectly within my um, rights. This isn't. I think it's not handling properly. I think I've bashed it up so much that it's just not cornering. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume they haven't seen me, and I'm going to be a guy strolling down the road towards the checkpoint. Maybe I'll take a car, maybe I won't. Probably not. Let's cross this road. Now the AI pedestrians don't cross roads very much, which means this is not necessarily the best way of getting there. Oops. Put that, put that away. Um, he moves very, this guy moves very slowly. I don't know why. I see you at the spot, big homie. He doesn't look particularly healthy, I have to admit. So maybe that's why. He doesn't look entirely sober the way he's walking. Maybe that's why he was driving so badly. I don't think it is. I think I was just not driving particularly well. But I'm going to carry on along here like this, trying to look innocent. Now there's my Mike. There's Mark ahead of me in the green car, um, guarding the guarding the junction. Now I'm not sure why he's sitting there. He shouldn't really be. He should be sort of mo you know moving around trying to find me, and the movement should give me a bit more of a chance to sort of. To go off right around and uh, and and get to the uh, get to the checkpoint without getting any sort of suspicion from the hunters. Okay, he's gone now, mostly through a motorbike, I think, and rolled his rolled his car as well. Mike's come to to uh, to lend a hand or just turn up and vaguely mock him. Either way, I'm going to cross over the road. There we go. Okay, now I can head up here. There's the checkpoint nearly at it. If I can get to that checkpoint without being spotted... The problem with being on foot like this is you're very vulnerable. If Mike, de if Mark decides that he reckons that I am, well, me, then and decides to try and run me over, there's not a lot I can do about it because I'm just a pedestrian. I'm a sack of uh, not very potable water as the saying goes. So I'm just going to wander up here. I'm going to try very, very hard to look innocent and keep um, keep an eye out around me as best as I can. So there's, an, there's another one there now. I'm going to run away because they're shooting, and that's what that's what pedestrians do when they're shooting. And if I go down here again, because pedestrians they do sometimes cross roads when they're um, when they're scared. But I think it's better if I don't write. Okay, so let's let's stick with this this plan. It's working. It's going quite well so far. Of having a sports car and taking that to the checkpoints, and then yeah, um, going from there as it, as it were. Now I'm 
a little bit surprised. I, uh, the, the, the hunters all started moving just just before the checkpoint went, just before the checkpoint exploded, which is interesting. Um, they shouldn't have been alerted, but maybe maybe. Maybe they saw some. Maybe one of them saw something that they thought was me, so they all ran off to investigate it. That's probably the most likely. Let's go. So, five ways and Casino Bridge. They're both they're both quite a way away. And they're both sort of this way-ish. So let's get in a queue behind this truck. Now I do have a broken window somewhere. There, there it is. It's on the passenger side. I don't know if that makes it harder to see. Um, Oh right, these vehicles are all dead. <laughs> Let's um, do this then. Now that's a bit, that is the sort of car that I often drive. That's probably why it got shot. Uh, <laughs> and then maybe the driver of that truck got out and ran away. That would make a certain amount of sense. Now the problem is, if I head up, if I head up this way, I'm, I'm actually now I'm a bit closer to five ways than I thought I was. The problem is, I'm um, in a sports car still. So. Maybe this is going to be one of those runs where I use a sports car and then start trying to take all the checkpoints on foot. That could be fun. Where's Pete? What's he investigating? He's investigating that car in front of me because that's the sort of car I might offer. Is it the sort of car I might drive? No, I think it's the same as the one I'm in at the moment. The one I... Is it the same as mine? Yes, it is. Same sort of Aston Martin-y type looks. Right, Pete is being generally suspicious of cars around here. Possibly because this is where the circle's going, I don't know. Um, oh, uh, there's two of them around here. No shooting! Ah, he's I don't know what. Ah, I'm not sure what gave me away, but something clearly did. He's now. He's just, oh, he, Matt, I think I think it's probably the he accosted me. I didn't I didn't sound the horn or shout or abuse at him or anything like that. So now he's fairly sure I'm me. So okay, that's that's okay because I'm in a sports car as we said. So I should be able to get away. Now this is a perfect opportunity for me to hair all the way across the city and get quite close and get relatively close to the casino bridge checkpoint and then start thinking about changing cars. Now I'm remembering one of the earlier runs from a sort of a couple of weeks back. I did well, I did best, significantly better than normal and I think the reason I was doing better than normal in that one is because I was being a bit more aggressive. So it's very tempting in this game to um, to try and just stick with the traffic, try and sneak around all the time, try and not be recognised, not be vis not be spotted by the hunters. Ooh, that's a big crash. Um, let's use another red radius. I had one of those in the last run, and it it went okay. Help me. Uh, let's also try and keep an eye out for any hunters. No hunters, right? Okay. So, in the spirit of fairness, I'm not going to charge straight up to that checkpoint and grab it because I do feel like I need to give the hunters time to get across the city. But I'm not going to. Once they have, there's one of them, for example. I'm not going to be quite as um, subtle with the rest of the uh, the driving. So, there we go. Quick Yui there. Now, if Mike's made it over here, then that shows that there has been sufficient time for hunters to get to the checkpoint. Therefore, I don't need to feel guilty about going and grabbing it. Um, now, I am in a... Oh, yeah, I was going to be a bit more aggressive, wasn't I? And, not, and stop, stop, stop. Stopping at all the all the stop stopping at all the stoplights. Yes, that that makes perfect sense. Good good Englishing there. <laughs> you wouldn't think I you wouldn't think I did did it for a living, would you? Uh, right. And there's Mark again. He's been alarmingly good at spotting me recently, so that's a worry. I could go across the bridge, go up and come back across again. Um, if I had a better idea of what the circle was doing, I might be tempted to do that, but I don't know what it's doing, so. I'm just gonna take the checkpoint and run away. I think I got away with that somehow. Get out of the way, stupid felon jack, whatever that was. I'm honestly not sure what it was. Let's go back across this bridge here. It's probably foolish because it's bringing me back towards them, and if they are suspicious of a red um, red radius, then I'll kind of stick out. But also, 
But that sort of quick reversal is hopefully going to be the sort of thing that will, will uh, throw them off. Now, at some point, I'm kind of hoping that we're going to put a um, functionality. We're going to put functionality into this game where. Um, oh, that's interesting. I'm quite close to Mirror Park South. <laughs> we're going to put functionality into the game where I can turn off the um, the circle for sort of short periods of time when I'm trying to escape, and that'll obviously be um, in exchange for not have. I wonder what oh, Tristan's dropped. Hmm. Um, Obviously, that'll be in exchange for not being able to take any checkpoints, not having or not having the circle shrink and stuff like that when it when I, when I do it. But but I think it could be quite useful as a way of um, basically just helping me escape when I'm when I'm fleeing, because the problem I tend to have is that I will I will start running, I'll pull off a reasonably good escape, and then while I'm trying to sort of then collect my thoughts isn't quite right, but trying to get a new car, you know, all that sort of stuff. While I'm completely, I've got completely away from the hunters. They can still, they're still using the circle to track me a bit, and they can tell where I've, where, how I'm trying to get away from them, essentially. And this was really driven home to me in one of the, um, one of the runs we did outside the city a while back, uh, where I, I, I'd, I'd fled round the, uh, round the highway quite a long way, and had basically got away from the, uh, the, got away from the hunters. I pulled over into a. Um, into a farm to park up and have a bit of a think about things and to try and try and basically try and make good on my escape. Um, and then, but the hunters knew I hadn't had knew I was in more or less that area because the circle was still over me. So they didn't they didn't go shooting past. They didn't have too much searching to do. So they basically knew where I was, which meant it was very difficult for me to um, actually escape. So it's sort of a the idea, the hope, the, the, the way the, the, with the way the game works, the hunters need something to help them track me down. Oop, fail at dodge, dodgy fail, something like that. Um, the hunters need something to help them track me down because the city is a big place, the island is an even bigger place. So it's not realistic for them to try and just find me across the entire city. There aren't enough of them for that. And I don't drive badly enough for that, so they need a bit of a bit of a hint, a bit of a clue, and that's why we have things like position indicators, or um, we also have the checkpoints to try and drag me in towards where they where they might where so they know where I'm going, roughly where I'm going to go, things like that. Um, and those sort of th those sort of things they they help help the hunters get a bit of an idea of where I'm likely to be. Um, but the problem is, once they've had that idea and once they've found me and we've got into a chase. You then want those those clues to straight through the lamppost as always. You want then want the clues to disappear to make it a little bit harder for them to actually track me through the through the chase, and so that when I when I escape, it makes the escape a bit more solid. And then you want the and then after things have settled down a bit and gone back to normal, you then want to have the um, you want to have the clues reappear again so that they so that they've got a chance of finding me and reacquiring me and you know starting another chase up because that's sort of the point. That's the way the game's supposed to work. <laughs> so, but at the moment, I'm in, I'm in the rather slower car, which is making this escape rather difficult. I wonder if I could have gone through that hospital. I was sort of thinking it, and then I decided not to because I didn't know if there was a way through there. Oh, that's an, that's another steer. And the radius is quite understeery, which is uh, a bit problematic at the moment because uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get away. It's not going brilliantly. That was more solid than it looked. <laughs> I mean, I'll take it. That's got me turned round nicely. Mike's going in the wrong direction as well, um, and Pete's managed to get himself turned round as well. <clears throat> so yeah, the uh, the advantage of going into something so surprisingly solid like that is it does mean you slow down incredibly quickly. Um, which is useful. Oh, I can't get over that wall. Ah, uh, that tree really got in the way then. Right, so my <laughs> that was an interesting combination of good driving and bad driving from me there. I pulled off an end or braking manoeuvre almost perfectly against Pete there. He shot past me. I then tried to turn round and I don't know whether I don't think I was trying to go over the wall, but I drove into the wall instead instead of you know just turning around and going back the way I come properly. Ooh, corner, 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 corner. Median. Oh no, that's a tire gone. Oh no, I'm really in trouble now. So the, one of their favourite favourite tactics for hunting me down, if they can get if they can get close enough for long enough, is to start shooting out my tyres. And when that happens, I'm really in trouble because then the car starts to lose a lot of a lot of its handling. Um, 
and a lot of its acceleration. So I suppose it's all acceleration, isn't it? It's acceleration in the forward direction and acceleration in the sideways direction. I'm going to go in here. I did that so slowly, they're bound to be behind me. Maybe they're not, actually. Oh dear, there's Tristan. Did he see me? Yes, he did. He's turning around and coming back out again. Oh, this is going to be tricky. I'm... I'm quite surprised I managed to get away as much as I did then. Oh no, there's a rock and a tree. And I didn't have enough steering because of the aforementioned missing tyres. And Mark's back again. Ah, I was going to drop down onto the highway there. But it just didn't go as I... It just didn't. <laughs> it didn't happen. Because I didn't have enough steering authority to turn the car. Because I don't have very much grip. Because one of my tyres is... I haven't even worked out which tyre it is that's missing yet. So let's try and go in here. That, that side looks... Oh, it's the front one. Okay. That would explain the lack of steering. Yeah, there's Tristan. Okay, well, in that case... Um, I don't know. I'm not quite sure what my logic was there, going onto the uh, <laughs> going onto, onto the highway. But, potentially, I mean, if I can't steer, going on the highway is potentially good, because I just have to go in a more or less straight line. However, the Windsor is faster than me, therefore going onto the highway is not such a good plan. Um, because he's probably going to be able to catch up with me. So, I do have an idea. I don't know if it's a good idea, but it is an idea. Um, what I'm going to try and do... So, as I've been saying, the, the, the Radius is is technically an, a, a, an SUV-class vehicle. Uh, he's not in his Windsor, so I can't use some of the tricks I would potentially use against it. But yeah, technically... Technically, this is an SUV, so it's elements of off-roadishness with it. So I'm hoping, maybe if I can carry on up here a little bit. <clears throat> I mean, doing it with three tyres is probably should have gone off there and dropped into the um, into into the uh, in, into the bushes. That would have been smart. Didn't think of that until it was too late. My hope is that if I come off here, not like that, not like that. More like, more like this bit. This bit is a hill, so I might be able to make it up. Now, they're going to start shooting at me again, because I'm a bit of a sitting duck as I go up here. But, maybe? I mean, I don't know what the thing is. I don't, I'm not, at this point, I'm not quite sure what else to try. Being on the ridge line is probably unwise, because they'll have sniper rifles. Um, but, I'm, I'm... I'm just hoping, really. <laughs> that maybe there are still hunter vehicles around doing shenaniganry behind me. If I can get over here, is this good? I mean, I'm on roads again. It depends whether they, they can manage it as well. And if so, if, if not, either way, whether I can then use that to try and get away. I mean, so far it's mildly promising is the best I can really describe it as. Ooh, actually, that might have done it. I've got a decent turn of speed down this hill. I'm not quite sure where I... Oh, I'm, I'm... Okay, yeah, I am sure where I am. I need to abandon this car. Not like that. And change into something else. Can I just go... Oh, no, he's caught up with me again because I crashed. Because I don't... As, as mentioned, I have no... <laughs> no traction. Can I fit through that gap? Can I fit through the gap? Yes. With a bit of help. Oop. Thank you. <laughs> a little bit more help. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, I did seem to do better than them off-road, so let's give this a try. This is going to be very difficult with no tyres. Uh, with Sorry, with three tyres. Ooh. Actually, that's not too bad. This is... I'm I'm honestly impressed with myself for how long I've survived this on this on this run with so with a missing tyre. That almost never happens. Run, 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 run. Run! Run like the wind! Up anywhere. I don't... I don't know. Just... Just anywhere. I need to not be here. <laughs> okay, they're shooting quite a lot. Ooh. If I can get down there, that's quite a nice car. Actually, it's quite a nice car, whether I can get down there or not. But if I can get down there and into it, then maybe I can get away. They're doing a lot of shooting. It doesn't seem to be at me, though. So that's good. 
Oh no! Ah! Damn it! I should have hidden for longer. Pro tip: uh, Look at the road when you're driving, not the map. <laughs> also, I'm yeah. found it. Where? Uh, industrial, north side, heading south. That is consistent with the circle? Yes, that, that one, Pete. Did I help? Uh, going onto the highway, heading uh, west. I mean, he's not going all that quickly, so... Yeah. Well, he's now pulling ahead of me, I don't know why. Or how. I don't know why. I'm heading west along the highway. you by some degree. How far along the highway are you? Uh, approaching the uh, split to north-south. He is going north. Ah, that car just veered across in front of me. I think he might have taken that jump. Take the jump, Pete. Yes, he did. Where is he now? Uh, lower highway heading standby north. Okay, sir. Heading towards Red Car Park. Oh, yeah, I see him. He's taking the... Does he come off? Uh, no, he's, go he's going uh, left here. Yeah. Other way, Mike. Sorry. Yep. So, uh, in that case, I, I did see him, which didn't realise it was him. Okay, I... Onto I've the highway him. heading west. Heading towards the tunnel. Although he's way in the distance, so... Uh, thanks, Pete. Kind Welcome. of... You punted me over the wall, so I take that thanks back and say screw you. <laughs> I can't see him. Uh, Oh, he's gone off. He's gone off at multi multicoloured car park. Is he going to be turned right and right again? I don't know, because I didn't go off there. On your left, Pete? Yep. Uh, I mean, I'm going to go right and right again. I'll just have a chance. Left and right. Yeah. I can't see where I'm shooting now. Uh, I can make it a bit bigger. Yeah, the motorcycle. The, uh, in the front motorbike? Of the, yeah, in front of the FedEx. There was shooting, so it might have. I see it. Yeah, it's possible. There was shooting, though, so it could be in panic. I was kind of wondering about the FedEx. <laughs> Could be. I do not believe it to be the FedEx. And he's still alive. What? Think I might be shooting him? I'm shooting in that direction. I think he's dead. Well, the hey. FedEx driver. He was also in a FedEx uniform. Who is now? Uh, I think he's. He's still he's still, still around yeah. here though. Yes. I was going to say the circle hasn't really moved, so he is still around here somewhere. So let's let's assume that he heads south from the checkpoint. Um, watch for pedestrians. Oh, it's not FedEx. Right. I think he's approaching. Oh, that's now a white crosser. Yeah. I think he's um, passing arc, uh, approaching arc gallery. I might have him if that changes. Uh, where do you think he is? The car fleeing northwest. I did just shoot. Oh, uh, the, yes, yes. Yeah, heading towards Life Invader. He's taking a right at Life Invader. That's definitely him.
Uh, heading into Vinewood, he's a lot faster than I am. Christ. Has he grabbed a sports car to get away? Uh, I think it was, yeah. Uh, I've lost him. Um, can I shop him all area? But he's probably bolted even further. Yeah. I think he's approaching the checkpoint from the south. He's taking it. He came from the south. I'm confident. Oh, yeah, I had someone behaving kind of janky. Uh, he's now heading s south, crossing the highway shortly at a reasonable speed. I just use a passing motorbike to close my car door. I've got Did him it? in, I think, a red radius. Yes. Heading onto the, the highway. Yeah, yeah, that's the one I'm following. Which highway? Uh, um, the east-west. Yes, moving... Oh, yeah. Taking He's bubbled jump. onto the jump into Arcadius, on the Arcadius bridge. Turning south. Taking a left, heading south. Uh, continuing south past Maze Bank. He's taking a left at Maze Bank. Uh, heading east. Towards Square Square. Yep. And we are right. heading now south, down yep. the uh, western side of Square Square. Into ghetto. We are heading Turning right up. at the ghetto entrance, past the car wash. I've crashed. Into car wash. Side alleys. There is a. Oh, turning north again. Towards highway, taking a right. Before that, turn heading east towards. Uh, and north again? Yeah. And south. South. Yes. Okay. Uh, Just pass off turning hospital. Turning southwest. Pass hospital? Are we in the ghetto or are we? Yeah, in yeah. the ghetto. In the. Ah, right, got it. Uh, heading. Coming out now, towards the first west. Yeah. I see you guys. That radius there, yeah? That's the one. Yes. Mr. Heading west, uh, north of highway. Force construction site. Ah, uh, he endored me. I saw that coming. He tried to take a job that isn't there. He's hard 180'd, kind of. <laughs> you did exactly what you did, Pete, with that tree. Uh, heading north, north past uh, apartments and construction site. Oops, sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Mike. <laughs> next uh, left. Entwined. Um, and Can't right again. <laughs> heading north. Towards Acadius. I hit a very immovable uh, place. And uh, west. And he turned right into an hospital or what is it? Some building heading Acadius Bridge, north. Yeah, got him. One to the left of you, Mark. Fun road. I see him. Uh, west of ah. shopping centre, uh, right north. It's still north. He nudged an AI into my path. Disappointed I didn't get Very his time. Is he still going north? Uh, lost eyes. North of shopping centre. Maybe east. He stopped going north. Going to the circle. It's through shopping centre, west, east, headed out that way, and then the next road. Yeah, after got that, him. Makes yeah. yeah, turning right onto the, onto the highway. No, yeah, in the little park here. Uh, south of shopping centre again. 
Uh, heading west. That's Towards nice. five ways. No way, Mike. <laughs> Going uh, south into a side alley. And right again. Is Mike. Yeah. Uh, heading st out, uh, straight onto the highway. Heading west. Uh, Approaching multicolored car park and not taking the exit. Going Staying into the tunnel. Now. Okay. This I can catch up with. <clears throat> uh, he's come out of the tunnel, still heading the same way. I see you guys in the distance. Slammed his brakes off. Oh, someone did get his tyre. Has anyone else shot at him? No. Excellent, I did get his tyre then. I'm really pleased with that. Ah, I got run over. Hey, he's heading out of the city. Turn yes, right, heading north. Behind you, Mark. Behind you, Pete. Still heading north. Behind you, Tristan. Do you want to overtake on my whichever side you like? Yeah. Okay. You are faster than me. Okay. Uh, heading off road. Yeah. I'm getting out. He's gonna be gone by then, surely. Uh, he's still going up. I'd like to get tyres. Ah. And he's caught some air. Uh, yep, he's gone over the hill. He's still going up. He's following the ridge up. Can anyone see him down in that gully? Uh, I've got him. Yeah, still heading. Oh, yeah, he's still going still there. Yeah. Keep was... pulling it out. I'm heading round on the road. Yeah, continue in north. He's not turned yet. Uh, I don't have eyes. He's still going north. He's just jumped up to what I think is observatory. Yeah, hit some cows. Uh, yeah, he's on the road into observatory. You're right. Yeah, so he's now exiting observatory. Good roll. Good roll. Thank you. Oop. Uh, temporary loss. Yep, still going. Still following the observatory road out. No eyes. Oh, yep, there he is. Still on the observatory exit road. Oh, he's crashed! He's crashed on the um, pillar on the way out, so watch out for that. It does stick out the sides. He is now... Ah! Going into the... Shot that. Heading east. From observatory. Heading north. Yep, he's now into the university. A yeah, never been here before. On to go tennis court. Thank you. <laughs> it's alright, <laughs> nudge you through. <laughs> he's, he's made it all the way through. He killed a student. Oh. Oh, he's got to die. And he's back off road. Oh, he's on a dirt track. Heading east, now off road. Still bearing east. He's jumped over the thing. Oh boy. Oh, there's a wall uh, which he no. cleared I did not. <laughs> Same. Uh, Oh, he's heading off down northeast up the road. Uh, um, I've, I've, uh, uh, it's a proper tarmac road, but I, I've, I've lost him. I've got him. Still going that way? Uh, no, he stopped. He's what? He might be on foot. Um, his vehicle is like halfway up by. A... Yeah, he's on foot. Oh, You'll he's see done Mike that, in the middle of the road. Yeah, I see you, I see you. Can you be so he's where he's sneak, sneaky. Uh, shoot again, please. In my car is. Stuck. He's anywhere around here. Found him. That's me. Whereabouts? That's uh, me, that's me. That's me. I, I'm oh, you're, Michael. you're Michael. Oh, good one. Nice. Oh, good one. Nice to see Uh. Here. Hello everyone and welcome back to Lawrence Plays for some more Manhunt Checkpoint. You join me uh, on my way to try and decide whether I want to go to the golf course or Rails Cross and I think I think I want to go down to, into, into the ghetto for this run. I think that's going to be a much more um, much more promising direction to go. So I picked myself up a, a Felon which is quite a nice car, it's one of the coupes and he's going to look really out of place in the ghetto. I hadn't really thought of that when I was choosing where to go. 
um, but never mind. So we'll head down there and try and grab that, snag that checkpoint while we're, while we're, while we're down there. Um, the hunters have got a circle to try and track me down. The standard, this is a standard traditional circle with the, um, the elastic band method of, of, of tra tracking. So it will sort of follow me around, going boing around me basically on an, on an elastic band. So they can, so it'll never get too far away from me and the hunters can uh, generally tell roughly where I am. And there is one of them just off to my left and it's making me slightly nervous. So I'm trying to drive carefully and I don't know how well I'm doing that. The fact that he's still lurking there does make me kind of paranoid. Mark has got alarmingly good at recognising me, uh, even when I don't think I've done anything particularly wrong. Um, however, I, he sounded like he was pulling off then. No, he's still with me. Hmm. I don't like this. There is shooting happening. Let's go right on a red light here. I think you're allowed to do that. We're not sure of the rules. They're not sure. Alright, there's there's too many hunters around now and it's just started raining. So I think it's time to get out of here. <laughs> uh, I shall flee into Ghetto since that's the sort of direction I was planning to go anyway. Um, and see how that goes. Yeah, it looks like Pete's had a bit of an unfortunateness back there. So, ooh, actually, let's keep going. Let's carry on down here. And then... Is there a side... Are there any, any side roads anywhere at all in this place? <laughs> Apparently not, so I'm going to carry on around here. Oh, that's a bit a bit squirrely, but not too bad. I made it around there without too much difficulty. If we come up here, I do I do kind of want to change out of this car, though, because they've seen it. I wish I could also change out of this skin, because I suspect... I didn't look around properly before I did this. Um, I think there's a fairly good chance that Mark has also identified my character model. Which is unfortunate because I prefer it when they don't know what I look like. It makes it a lot easier to carry out my uh, nefarious activities. But anyway, I've made it down to Ghetto. I have escaped from them, which is quite nice. It's possible that the rain. I was going to say it's possible that the rain helped. The rain has now basically stopped, which is. Um, and it's got rather. Actually, the rain hasn't. It's still falling. It's got rather bright. We are getting some very weird weather in the, um, in the game at the moment. Um. There has been some experimentation with weather in the uh, in the server code, and I think it's not been entirely successful. So this is um, is interesting. <clears throat> However, I am now within spitting distance, perhaps, of the uh, of the checkpoint. So I think it's time to now be a little bit more aggressive and just make a bit of a bid for it. We'll see how this goes. See if. Um, Okay, Mike hasn't done anything there. It's possible it's because I'm in a radius, which used to be a sort of... There used to be a bit of a meme that I always drove radiuses, but I haven't for a while because they're a bit sl a bit slow and a bit clunky. So the fact that I'm now driving one might mean it's uh, the hunters aren't going to suspect it. They're not going to look, look too many times at it. And given all the rain, given that the radius is, I believe, is technically a, an SUV, or at least in the SUV class, that might mean it's got four-wheel drive and is therefore going to be a little bit better off-road. We shall see. We shall see how it goes. So I snuck through that checkpoint quite well. They're off shooting some poor innocent person over on the other side of the city by the looks of it. So at the moment, I'm in the clear. Now I need to get to Five Ways or Chinese Monument, both of which are sort of off to the northwest from here. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I'm happy to... Yeah, that's... Uh, as drives go, it's not, it's not too far. Um... And not too difficult. Am I in a right turn only lane? I am. Okay, I guess I'm going to be turning right here, which isn't quite what I wanted. Or I could just put my foot down and hope nobody notices. There don't seem to be any hunters around. But after what happened earlier, there's one, see? <laughs> after that sort of shenaniganery, um, I think I want to drive a little bit more carefully. Oop. Clouds have pulled in again. <laughs> Uh, I still need to go straight on here. I'm in the wrong lane, I know. Let's pull off across in, fr across in front of that uh, Range Rover. Right, so <laughs> that Mini's got its roof down even though it's raining. <clears throat> it's worse than me. Ooh, let's go. So one of the things I need to be a little bit aware of is if you sit in traffic for too long, obeying the traffic laws, then there's a bit of a tendency for you to end up with a lot of cars around you. Because cars spawn in as they're required, as you get as as you get to sort of to new areas, essentially. Um, but they but if you stay near them, then they don't despawn. So if you drive around cautiously and sensibly for too long, 
you end up with a big cloud of cars surrounding you, or perhaps a big queue of cars surrounding you. So, I need to, so in order to try to not end up in a massive queue of cars, I'm going to need to speed a little bit from time to time, I suspect. Um, I think this weather is very exciting. <laughs> Here comes purple up from behind. Uh, I'm just going to sit here then because this is a red light. He's pulled up next to me. I don't like that. And there's green as well. No, I'm, I'm out of here. I don't like this. Having them around is is a worry. Um, even, especially in a thunderstorm. Because I don't know... The thing about a thunderstorm is I don't know what my traction is going to be like. And I don't know what their traction is going to be like. I just said I... I'm hoping mine's going to be better than normal because, or better, it's going to suffer less than theirs because I have the, um, hopefully have the all-wheel drive in my SUV class, but the Radius is only borderline SUV, it's a sort of a, I don't know what it's based on from the real world cars go, but it's, it's not quite what I think of when I think of an off-road vehicle, <laughs> so we'll have to see how, see how it gets on. But I did manage to get away from Pete last time, so definitely maybe. <laughs> we shall see how this goes. Let's try and get around the corner here, with a little bit of help from that sign. Mike is right there. Oh. Alright, I'll go up here then. I mean, it wasn't my intent, original intention, but... Uh. <laughs> I don't... I want, to, I want to pull some sort of cunning tricks or something like that, but I just don't have the performance for it. I mean, things like... Oh, that's a solid... Why is that a solid hedge? Ah! Okay, I guess that works. Thank you, Mike, I think. Oh. Right, so the question is, what can I do... To, what can I take advantage of that I've got that they haven't? Um... The element of surprise is possibly my b biggest advantage at the moment, so what can I just get round this corner before any of them appear and then go into this hotel? Where am I? Where even am I? Oh, this is back of back of the shopping, uh, posh shopping area. Okay. Well, I've sort of snuck away. I don't feel I've snuck away quite enough to, to, be, to want to take the um, checkpoint just yet. I'm going to try and find... Oh, I need to try and... I need to not head the back this way, because this is where I just came from, and there's Mark. Again. But he didn't see me, I think. I need to find a... I want to find a car park. Because then I can change cars. Maybe my car isn't as damaged as I thought it was. Let's go into this car park. There's no cars in the car park! Can I hide in the car park? Apparently I can. I'm going to sit up here watching Tristan driving around underneath me. Can he see me? I don't know. There's two of them down there. I don't like this. <laughs> Mike's coming up to get find me. Okay, so they've worked out where I am. And they're now trying to come up and block me in. That's probably quite smart of them. Can I get out? Is this my best bet on get for getting out? I don't know. Ah, no, no, it was not my best bet for getting out. <laughs> oh dear. That's Red Car Park. I've just been talking about thinking about how best to achieve I this. I might have to run uh, north of Red Car Park in a black oracle, I think. Awesome. Okay. Not a red car. Uh, a car with a broken window. Which wasn't him, but it looks so where's he now? Suspicious. He's he's herring east. Uh, Pete here, right, right this one. Yeah, that's him. Where about? Uh, on your back? No, maybe not. I'm not sure who you're referring to. Uh, yes, yes, he's moving to ghetto south. We'll get Why did it start okay. raining? I disabled it. Did you read start script? I thought so, yeah. I crashed. Game or car? 
Uh, Carl. Carl. <laughs> okay. Uh, where, where, where did you last see him? Uh, yeah, basically here. Uh, get beginning of ghetto. What was he in? Uh, black uh, oracle, I think. Yeah. The keyboard was there. Uh, might have him, just north of Ghetto heading west. Yes, this is him. Uh, heading south. Of first, first. That, that I'm Mike. Yep. Where are you? I'm out. I'm out. Yep. Where are you? Uh, heading uh, north. Past apartments along the rail line. Awesome, Large construction, I've got him sideways. Uh, um, heading up towards Arcturus. Arcturus? Arcadius. I can remember the names of things. Uh, turning. No, going straight past Ar uh, Arcadius. Crossing over the bridge, past construction site. I'm one road parallel. Turning you. left. Towards shopping center. Um, he's crashed on the shopping center jump. As in on the actual road up. I'm gonna try and prevent him from taking the actual jump itself. Oh, never mind. Thank you. Uh, he's now heading Everybody south down the here. west side of shopping center. He managed to get himself stuck in an area, which is... Ooh. Heading northwest. Over the grass. There's going to be some really angry... Ah! Really angry groundskeepers. Um, heading towards low car parks. Nice work, Pete. I saw that crash. means when AI. <laughs> I've lost sight of him. I was stuck behind Pete. That's my excuse. I've just seen a car moving at speed past low car parks, but I think it was one of you guys. I was around there. Just past Life Invader. Yeah, that's you, Pete. I suspect by n yeah, we've left the circle. We've left the circle way back. He's five ways. Left there, I reckon. Yeah. I, I think he's he's done his usual thing of turn turn again. Found him. Low yeah. car parks. East side. Low car. Oh, okay. Heading west along low car park. No, through low car parks. Through uh, low car parks. Yeah, uh, the one what? I'm circling. If anyone's nearby, he's up on top of it. Uh, can you see Mark? Mark, the one to your right. Keep an eye on that slope. He's still up there. Don't let what, him down. Kaskin? Stay there, Mark. Um, he's, yeah, he's up here, he's up here. I am blocking him. And this he's way. pinned. I, I'm, I'm blocking him up here. Yep. Oh, yeah, Mark, I see him. He's I see trying to come out the other side, he's coming out the other side. There you go, red job. Oh. <laughs> you want him to kill, right? Uh, actually, I was just wanting to get in the back with him and then go in the head.